Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise on behalf of the President of Treasury Board and Minister of Finance to move third reading of Bill 32, the Credit Union Amendment Act. As noted by other honourable members in this House previous readings, this legislation was developed using input from stakeholders of Alberta's credit union system. This government is committed to ensuring Alberta's credit unions have the business tools necessary for their work and to encourage them to support small and medium-sized businesses in their communities. By modernizing aspects of our province's credit union legislation, consumer choice will be expanded for regular Albertans. Membership rules are being clarified to create more opportunity for small and medium-sized businesses to access loans, which supports job creators and encourages economic growth in our province. Increasing transparency, facilitating access to information, and enabling all share shareholders to better influence the direction of credit unions will enhance governance and accountability within the credit union system. And finally, some technical changes are being proposed to update provisions and promote the flexibility necessary to keep the framework current. These changes have the support of Alberta's credit union system and are generally consistent with best practices and directions in other jurisdictions. In closing, our credit unions are a vital part of Alberta's economy and these amendments will modernize and strengthen this legislation so that these important institutions can continue to be a viable alternative for Albertans. I would ask all members of this House to support third reading of this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Madam Speaker.